Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to the excavation of Hobbs Barrow. And today is the day, friendos. Um, not only because it starts the third day here in the game, but this is also the day that Thomasina finally gets to excavate the barrow. Um, we received another strange vision and um, some information from Arthur Tillett that um, things are definitely not what they seem. Thomasina's presence here almost seemed um, planned and orchestrated, and apparently her blood is needed for something inside the barrow. So I'm very curious to see where this story is going to go. Um, we're here in our room. Everything is pretty much the same except for Herbert asleep here on the chair. Herbert, how did you get in here? Achievement unlocked. Herbert. Cat's like, it doesn't matter anymore. I've got much more important things to get on with. Herbert's like, I've seen some things, man. Oh, look at Stanley. We actually get to see Stanley's legs. It's Mr. Stanley Kemp, the proprietor of the Plow and Furrow. He has the serious and worn out facial expression of a man who deals with drunkards on a nightly basis. Good morning. Stanley? Ah, Miss Bateman. Mr. Shoulder left a note for you. Thank you, Stanley. Miss Bateman, meet me at my home as soon as you read this. There's no time to waste, Leonard. And it almost seems like Stanley's not wanting to acknowledge her because he may know what's going on. Or at least a kind of. Oh, there were a key with it, too. Hmm. I must make haste to Mr. Shoulder's residence. Alrighty. This is where it's all gonna kick off. Oh. Miss Bateman, I beg you, in the name of God, leave this town. Father Roach, what is the meaning of this? There's nought for you here, lass. Clear off. I beg you, Miss Bateman. Father Roach, Mr. Farnaby, here to wish Miss Bateman good luck for her excavation, gentlemen. Am I heck? Mr. Kemp, you know... An excavation strongly supported by Lord Panswick, no less. I just got a chill. I wish you well with your findings, Miss Bateman. May the Lord strengthen you and guard you from the evil one. Yeah, little children, guard yourselves from idols. They tried. Good luck, Miss Bateman. Thank you. Okay, why was Stanley following them? Wait, hold on. I must make haste to Mr. Shoulder's residence. Oh, they're not going to let me look at anything. I must make haste to Mr. Shoulder's residence. I must make haste. Okay. I was trying to head to... Mr. Shoulder's residence. Oh dear. It's dead. The poor thing is beyond help. So, let me look at our items here. We have a small key, we have the key to our room. I must make haste to Mr. Shoulder's residence. I must make okay which way was oh it was this way whoops Douglas the town all know Douglas dropped his toy sword it's just a toy it's no use to me can we have a last sit on the bench? For what's to come? Oh, 
All right. Nothing going on with the devil's toe. Small box, probably locked. All the chickens are gone except for the rooster. A fearsome looking beast. Mr. Shoulder! What's this? What's this? This is the box that we summoned Pinhead with. A box? It's locked. Mr. Shoulder, I got your note. Explain yourself. Curses. It's locked. I don't want to find a way to open this box. It must be important. <laughs> I don't want to. The key fits. Another one of these peculiar stones. A B P A. Wait, does this mean Mr. Shoulder was the third man on my father's excavation? There's a note underneath. My heart is his heart. My light is his light. A carved stone, I think it It's bolted onto the door itself. Mr. Shoulder? What is the meaning of these stones? Hmm. Well, we have three stones now. Probably what's needed to uh, gain entry, or do whatever needs done. I'd really like to know what happened to Arthur. And everyone else, for that matter. It's time to excavate Hobbs Barrow. Lord Panswick's men will be waiting for me. And you, you're trying to say no, you're trying to leave, but the game just won't let it happen. You're heading straight to your fate. Um, let's head over here. And Eunice is gone, too. Hello? Is anyone home? Like every instinct should be telling... He's not answering. Telling Thomasina that it's time to go. It's time to leave. But now they probably wouldn't let her leave. Let me look at this stone one more time. A-R. Good morning, men. Thank you for braving the weather. Aye, miss. Little rain is no bother. So, may we start? Yes, we've not a moment to waste. And so... The excavation of Hobbs Barrow began. Horace and his men learnt quickly and went about their work with care. We toiled for hours, rolling away great stones, removing mortar and masonry put in place by Father, Mr. Bryden and Mr. Shoulder. They had gone to great lengths to seal the barrow. I should have realised their efforts were not only to keep us out, but also to keep something contained within. Eventually, our careful application of pick, trowel and shovel gave way to open space. A stagnant, cadaverous odour was let forth.
What you see? The seal was broken. Oh, God. I couldn't believe my eyes. Splendid work, all of you. Step inside, miss. We'll be right behind you. Thank you, Horace. I can't wait a moment longer. Yeah, they'll be right behind you. Flowers? I can't get my head around this. How could they possibly grow here? Horace, come see this. Horace? Chaps? I've been abandoned. That you have. But she doesn't care. Fairly standard Bronze Age pottery. Smashed to high heaven, I'm afraid. Not worth making a note of. A burial urn, perhaps, though there's no sign of ashes. An unremarkable find. So, what's underneath the flowers, huh? They look the same as the flowers that were stuffed down Mr. Ambrose's throat. Strange. <laughs> Try as I might, these flowers are steadfastly rooted. <clears throat> well, we've got a trial for that. Let's see if I can cut them away. Something has been boarded up here. The, the boards are held down by two large rocks. The rock appears to be holding the boards in place. And we probably can't move them. Maybe we can. With telekinesis, apparently. Iron stakes have been driven through the boards, holding them firmly in place. I feel uneasy about what might lie beneath, but what choice do I have? We can leave! Horace and company have departed, it would seem. I must carry on alone. Or maybe it's a supernatural compulsion now at this rate. Hmm. I can't seem to budge the stakes with this. How about the knife? Curses. I can't get enough leverage with this knife. It's too thin. Good old trowel? There we go. A passage. Father, I'm coming. That's what I'm afraid of. Curses. Am I out of paraffin? Thank goodness. I was like, I'm not a fan. Not a fan of that. I'm waiting to see something in the roots or someone embedded in the walls. The dwarves dug too greedily and too deep. My lantern went out for good this time. I had no choice but to venture forth into the darkness. 
With each step, the passage narrowed in every conceivable way, until I was on hand and knee, crawling through thick clumps of vegetation. In pitch black darkness. Hell no. The odor of that dank soil was somehow unnatural. I crawled for an age, until I emerged in a cavern that seemed lit by the very earth itself. Uh huh. A thin strip of stone. It's a slightly different color to the rest of the masonry. A thin strip of stone. This stone panel feels firmly affixed. This stone panel seems somewhat loose. Now we should use the chisel. Perhaps I can chip away at the edge of the stonework here. The fade out of success. But we, we don't really like success in this undertaking. Well, the chisel broke, but what have we here? Three holes for three stones. Hmm. Three niches have been carved into the stone. Mm-hmm. So, let's look at the journal. Fo Theta Epsilon 9. A row. Oh, look at that. When you look at it, it also fits inside. So I A W C A Z Pa or A B. Shoulders, Brydens. This stone panel feels firmly affixed. Okay, not in the right order. E. I think we got that one. Well in hand. All eyes must face for toward the seventh. Arcanic. Right. Wait. Let's put the. What is this place? It's as solid as it looks. Double checking everything else. I'm looking at the stars here. One, two. Ah. One star. Two stars. Three stars. A click? Incredible. All right, so we've got the moons facing away. P P R T E nine <laughs> or eleven? 
Excuse me? The code was simply in the singularity of the characters. All right, so let's go PRT. Oh, there's no R. Hmm. Interesting. Knowledge that it shall end this singularity of the characters. P R H O Theta So maybe I'm not seeing that symbol here, though. Bap. Hmm. A clicking sound, but nothing happened. Wait, how many do we have to put in? Clicking sound, but nothing happened. Hmm, a clicking sound, but nothing happened. Let me double check that one more time. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hmm, a clicking sound. But nothing happened. Hmm. A clicking sound. But nothing happened. I just kind of wondered if you could walk, you know, go all the way. Um... Singularity of the characters. Listen, follow the words of the mouth. This is the only part that's like kind of confusing to me. X1... sound but nothing happened all right well let me go ahead and look at this guys I'm probably gonna break out my trusty notebook so just give me one second I'll see if I can figure this out so I actually think I was doing this all wrong guys we were focusing on this to be the solution but I didn't even think there's our code right there I A W A B P A C A S. I A W A B P A C A S. P A C A S. Let's try this. I A W A B P A. There we go. Oh, God. Oh, my. The light. 
I was making that way more complicated than it needed to be. Definitely no going back now. Curses. Goodness me. Roman? Ancient Greek? No, this is something else. The temple. Oh, we got a lot of stuff here. This one has shattered to pieces. The tiles are broken here, exposing the soil beneath. A beautifully ornate pot. This is the only one with a lid. What's in the pot? It's sealed tight. There's something rattling round inside. Ooh. Trusty trowel? Some situations do call for brute force. There's something here, made of wood. A crank. Okay. It looks like a crank handle. I assume probably for that box right there. Empty. There's nothing inside these. A stream of water is trickling down from the sodden earth above. The figure is holding a whip. The figure is presenting what looks like a sheaf of wheat. A simple pot made of clay. It's small enough to carry with me. We will take the pot, and I'm going to assume we use water with the pot. I've collected some water in the pot. Cool. There is a nook hidden within the fist, as if to hold something. There is a nook hidden within the fist, as if to hold something. So what happens? Do we have to suddenly grow grain and then put grain in one and then a whip in the other? Oh, there's another pot here. Mm, these are all empty. Nothing above. There's a small hole in the front of the box. A lock, perhaps. I think a crank spot. It fits in the hole. Let's see if I can turn it. My word. What do we got in here? The box is full of seeds. They glow in a most unnatural manner. Yet I feel compelled to take some. Well, let's do some agriculture here. What could go wrong? Hmm. The soil is too compact. I can't plant the seeds in soil like this. Well, we got the cure for that. Hmm. There is nothing there to water. Oh. Oh, we still have the violin, I just realized. I've broken up the soil. It's loose now. Oh, maybe that violin bow, we can turn that into a makeshift whip to go into the... That's something. It's like, why are you making that look? There we are. And now all we gotta do is water and see what grows. And we're going to do that in the next episode, guys. <laughs> um, I hope you all have enjoyed it. We have definitely kicked it up several, several notches. But um, if you guys like the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time.
Later days, everyone.